the subject we're on today is uh, huge. It's uh, very complicated. It's even hard to define the terms around it. But when we're approaching the utility of the future, I like to ask each of us to think about what the grid of the future is going to look like. So let's go out far enough that we can jump over today's current controversies about $5 natural gas this week when it was only $3 six weeks ago or something like that. Let's just skip over that. What's the grid going to look like um, 20 or 30 years from now? Uh, there are certain characteristics, I think, which uh, we will agree on. One is that it will be low carbon. Uh, we, I know there's a religious debate in this country about the reality of climate change, whether it's anthropomorphic and so forth and so on. I'm asking you if you have to, um, actually, if this becomes belief for you, that's okay, but just move out 30 years and imagine a grid in which the electricity generated and consumed is zero or near zero carbon on average. The second thing that you want to, I'm going to ask you to imagine, is it will be a connected, <coughs> webbed grid in much the same way that the internet is today. I believe that the application of IP technology to the electric grid will transform electric consumption in a parallel but different way than the way the internet has remade news gathering, entertainment, purchasing, banking, about anything we do. Just think how fundamentally those, the IP technologies change that. A similar transformation will happen in electricity, although we can't always decide what that will look like, it will happen. So today you hear about the smart grid. You can set your thermometer in your house, your thermostat in your house while driving your car and talking to your wireless uh, connection to your grid. Uh, that sounds kind of corny or hokey, and I agree that it is. Um, it can't, uh, uh, you can't justify an overhaul of the grid from the ability of being able to change your thermostat from your car. But on the other hand, if you imagine that every device in the network Every refrigerator, every hot water heater, um, every generating plant, every steel mill is, com is communicating with every other thing, including some central orchestrator who makes all of this work together. If that's your, the image that you hold of the grid of the future, then you can start backing up from that and deciding what kinds of changes are going to be required to get there. 